Good evening. I want to apologize if I'm talking slower. I'm working on my stuttering and for a few weeks it might sound like this so please bear with me this week's Pasha is Pasha's Vaishlak In this Parsha, we learn that Yaakov becomes Yisrael, the Jews. The land of Israel is named after him. Yaakov, Israel, wrestles with an angel that angel is the angel of Asav his brother the angel during the fight hits him on his bone down in his in his ankle so we see why we why we do not eat from a certain area this hit caused Yaakov to limp Yaakov Yisrael during after after the the battle with the angel ya Yisrael asks the angel for his name now what is it about names why are people so concerned about names Yisra Yisrael when he was Yaakov was Yaakov because of the deceit that he had not been forgiven for the deceit was tricking his father for the blessing of the firstborn Yisrael was given to Yaakov because he was forgiven at this point he is no longer contested as the firstborn Yaakov acts the angel for his name for his name the angel does not have a name angels name change every time 
they have a new mission. We also learn that Yosef gains the firstborn rights out of all of his brothers when Reuben was passed over. We see Yosef, his character, when he blocks Rachel from being seen by Esav. Rebbe Nachman of Breslov brings down a Kabbalah in his teachings. He says that Yaakov is a Vav, a big Vav. Yosef is a small Vav. Yaakov is Teferet. Yosef is Yesod. Teferet and Yesod parallel one another. They are the same. Yaakov and Yosef are the same. Yosef is one with Yaakov. He is exactly like Yaakov, a true Sadikim. Because of this, Yosef earns the rights of the firstborn. Because with the rights of the firstborn comes a double portion. Yosef's two sons, Menachem, so, sorry, Menashe and Ephraim are given places in the tribes. They are given their own tribe. This is why when somebody somebody has a boy we say may your son grow up to be like Menashe and Ephraim. We want our kids to represent, to emulate Ephraim, Menashe, and Yosef. They represent what it means to be true Tzadikim. Yosef being Yesod in the Sefirot is the foundation of a small section. It's a little connection. Yosef represents a coming together between him 
and his brothers. I wish you all a great weekend, a good Shabbos, a good Shabbos. For those of you who have sons, may your sons grow up to be like Menashe and Ephraim. May they be true Sadikim. Have a good Shabbos. I hope you forgive me once again for the speed that currently I am going at. I am going at. Please be patient with me. Soon enough, it will be back to normal speed. Have a great weekend and a good Shabbos. See you next week.